Many people have recently asked me that sort of that we hear the buzzwords around generative AI, chat GPT, but what exactly is generative AI and how does it fit the bigger picture of artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning? Well, generative AI is a subfield of artificial intelligence that uses various algorithms and models to create new and realistic content. Now these content could be images, audio, video, text or even code. Well, it is pretty safe to assume that you would have heard and even used ChatGPT for some of your tasks. ChatGPT is a generative AI tool. Similarly, Microsoft's Visual Bing is also a generative AI tool that uses a prompt to generate images. DALI2, Stable Diffusion, these are some other examples of generative AI tools. Now, how does it fit the bigger picture of artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning? Now, artificial intelligence, artificial intelligence, as we see from the image here, is a broad field that tries to mimic human intelligence. Mimic human intelligence. Okay. It creates systems that are designed to perceive their environment, reason about it, make decisions and then take actions. You can see various artificial intelligence systems around you, say for example, autonomous cars, recommendation engines, all these are artificial intelligence systems. Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence that learns from data, understands its pattern and tries to generalize, generalize on newer or unseen data. It makes predictions, it learns patterns, learns patterns and make predictions. Now we talked about the various types of machine learning algorithms such as supervised, unsupervised, semi-supervised in another video, the link to which you'll find in the i link above. Now in machine learning, you do not have to explicitly specify the rules as to how the decisions have to be made. They are learned based on the patterns that is already observed in the provided data. Deep learning on the other hand is again a subset of machine learning that uses artificial neural networks. Deep learning uses artificial neural networks. So it is a special category of machine learning algorithms that uses artificial neural networks to learn the representations of the data and then make decisions. Now in this overall scenario of artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, generative AI is a special category within the deep learning gen AI. Generative AI models is it tries to create newer content using artificial neural networks. So some of the tools that we already discussed such as chat GPT, stable diffusion, which you'll find in the list here as well. I'll attach them in the description. Go ahead and explore these generative AI tools. Many of these are open source tools and these make our life much easier and help us in creating various types of content in a realistic manner. If you enjoyed watching this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Jai Hind. And don't forget to let me know in the comments how was your experience using these generative AI tools.